I guess my passion for ocean photography came from way back, from my childhood, um, because I, I was born in Sydney, close to the ocean, and then um, grew up on the south coast of France. I spent all my weekends and holidays, you know, walking on the beach and having fun in the ocean. And I started surfing pretty early, and um, that led to um, looking at um, surfing magazines, and um, I. I found surfing magazines to be the, the most beautiful magazines in the world. I mean, the, the, the photography the, uh, just blew, blew me away, you know, the, the colors, the lineups, even, even just the lifestyle, the, the portraits, the, everything in the magazines, um, something that I really wanted to do. So um, I eventually grabbed my camera and um, started to shoot surfing um, on the south coast of France. Well, a key moment of my career is probably um, when I started working with Voxbo. Um, back then they had an incredible team of um, top athletes and um, they sent me all around the world to capture all these amazing athletes, you know, were, were performing right in front of me in these beautiful arenas and I, my job was to capture them. Some images made an impact. There's great athletes in beautiful locations made for great pictures. Such as Jean-Michel Bale riding in the desert, many snowboard destinations pioneered with um, a group of talented free riders. And the Millennium Wave in 2000 with Laird Hamilton in Tahiti. I like to bring everything back to the water. It could be through fashion photography. I like to shoot models underwater. I like to shoot surfing or body surfing, obviously in the waves. or any water sports in the lagoon or out in the ocean. Anything where I can put the ocean in the picture is, is, is perfect for me. I can spend hours underwater shooting little fish or just coral. An ocean photographer is somebody that you know, just tries to capture you know, all the intricate moments, all the magic moments that the ocean um, gives us. You need to have perfect knowledge of the ocean. You need to have a lot of experience in the waves, swimming in the ocean, to understand the element, to understand the currents, how the ocean moves, how the waves break. Timing is paramount when you're swimming in waves. My ocean photography is based on light, pretty much. I just, I try and um, work with the light. I, I, I'll get up early, I'll wait for the perfect moment. I try and be patient and, um, just because, you know, light, when light touches the ocean, you know, everything happens. It's just magical, you know. Um, light will make um, uh, a shitty day look great, will make a bad wave look beautiful. Um, 
it's just um, light does everything. One of my favorite types of photography is above below photography and I've been doing it forever. I've tried to perfect this technique over the years. I think it's the best way to show two different worlds. For my above below shots I have many domes, all sizes. It's um, some technical aspects that you need to work on to get the perfect image. You need a good combination between the camera and the lens and the water housing and the dome. Today I'm branching out more and more into uh, videography, cinematography and um, for that I now I use a CBOB which just brings much more dynamic footage. I can follow a swimmer, a surfer, or a stand up paddler, follow a manta ray, or punch through a school of fish. My aspirations today is to keep shooting the ocean for the rest of my life. I hope my photography inspires people to go and get in the ocean. Because if you're close to the ocean, if you experience the ocean every day, you'll want to protect it. Today I try and work with many organizations and people that have the same passion as me, that have the same will to try and preserve the ocean. We are all working to bring awareness to the rest of the world. The ocean is life. Jump in.